G'day, how's it going? Saber SG here, and I'm doing something a little bit different again. Uh, shock horror, I'm not even doing any PvP. I've decided to uh, explore relic sites, and um, I don't know, there seems to be a bit of a lack of information out there. There's always lots of videos on how to do exploration, how to do the relic sites, but how profitable is it? Is it worthwhile doing? How much is you going to make? Because, you know, you've got to be making that space cash. Need cash. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so the um, ship and fit that I'm using to suss out whether doing relic sites is profitable or just worthwhile or not. Uh, I've gone with the Helios. And here's the fit on the side. The covert ops cloaking. With the expanded probe launcher, I have actually 16 Sisters Core, scan Sisters Core scanner probes. If I can say it. Um, so that way when I pop them out, yeah, the module actually just automatically reloads. It's just a, a convenience thing. So I'm only scanning relics. A lot of people like to carry a cargo scanner, but I'll put a data there. I'm not going to even do any data scanning because um, apparently it's not really worth it. Um, so just the relic scanner. I have trained up to relic scanner too. Scan range fighting array and scan pinpointing array. Couple nanofibers and inertial stabilizer. And these rigs are just to help with the fitting. So my align time is 3.22 seconds, but when you're sitting inside a, a relic site uh, doing the um, little mini game, if something comes to attack you, uh, one, you're always keeping an eye on local. And if there's a neutral and local, just don't do it anyway. I just uh, stay cloaked. But I orbit at 3000 around the uh, relic while I'm doing the relic. And uh, keep an eye on local. And if something does pop up and attack me and I'm not paying attention because I'm doing the mini game, usually their decloaking time uh, is a few seconds after that you've got time to warp away so 3.22 seconds of line time is okay and um, should be pretty safe I think but anyway that's the Helios fit and my scan strength comes to 93 points uh, which I think is pretty good uh, I don't really know how high you can actually get it but yeah seems to do the trick for me I find with doing relic sites with the uh, relic scanner too, it's pretty effective and more often than not, almost always I uh, crack the relic and get the loot. Um, and if I fail on the first go, I get it on the second go. Whereas we, when you're doing it with um, just to, you know, whatever the skill is for relic analyzers, um, is scanned up to, f is uh, skilled up to four, you find, well, I found anyway that you sort of fail every now and again. You don't get, you don't get all the loot, and uh, the loot is why I'm here. So here's some of the results. This one, level one, I got 1.75 mil. Um, level three, I got 29.6 mil. And then a level one again, but I got 54.1 mil. So mixed results. Righto, so after doing uh, 15 relic sites over the past 2-3 days uh, I've been taking my time really because it's not the most exciting thing to me in the world I, I much prefer seeing things explode um, than uh, doing relic sites but I don't know, it's worthwhile doing um, So I did, after the 15 sites my total come to 333 mil uh, Obviously I've got to get to high sec to sell it or you know sell it uh, buy back program to the uh, Alliance or Corp but 15 sites 333 mil so that comes to 22.2 .2 mil on average per site 
Um, yeah, I think it's worth it. Uh, the net result, it was, I mean, it was quite up and down. There was a site where, you know, I only got 1.4 mil, but then there was another site where I got 50, 54 mil or something like that. And um, another interesting thing I found is that the level of scanning, uh, how hard, like level one, two, three, four, five, how hard it is to scan down the actual uh, relic site, has has no bearing on how much loot you're going to get from it. Uh, like the 54, 55 mil that I got from one site was actually from a level one. So um, that has no effect on it at all. But yeah, overall, I reckon it is worth it. It's not a bad little uh, exercise to do. It's a nice change, I guess, from shooting people and PVE and making things explode. It's something more chill to do. But yeah, worthwhile doing. So, uh, yeah, yibbity yibbity, that's all, folks. Catch you in the next one.